What is going on, my shredded brother from another mother? You guys are going to love this video almost as much as I love this car right here. I was just rolling my bike by and I saw this Bugatti Veyron, so I had to shoot the intro right in front of it. But you guys are gonna love this video. I got the NFL Combine push-pull workout, which is gonna teach you how to bench press 225 pounds for a shitload of repetitions while also building the V taper physique. Let's dive right into it. So we got the NFL Combine push-pull workout. Now, the number one reason why I started really getting into working out and getting aesthetic and muscular and overall just wanted to become a superhuman athlete myself was one experience back when I was 18 years old in the weight room at IMG Academy. So IMG Academy is this amazing place. In fact, I'm really aiming to shoot a couple videos there sometime in the next couple months, but it's one of the biggest pro athlete training grounds in the world. NFL stars, NBA stars, tennis players, golfers, people in every single uh, professional sport will go there in the off season, even during the season to train and become superhuman. So back when I'm 18, I'm in the weight room one day training for basketball and I see Anquan Bolden about a month before the NFL Combine. Now, if you don't know Anquan Bolden, he's turned into an amazing NFL wide receiver. I think he uh, either just retired or he's gonna play one more year, I can't remember. But he's had an amazing NFL career and seeing him up close in person in the weight room when I was 18, repping out 225 like it was nothing. He had big arms, he was athletic, he had like a 38 inch vertical leap. I was like, I wanna look like that, I wanna be able to perform like that. So that was such an amazing experience for me. And back when I was like 18, 19 years old, I couldn't even bench press 155 pounds. So as you're about to see in this video, I can now bench press 225 pounds for a lot of repetitions. I'm about to go to that clip and I wanna dive into, in this video, some of the secrets that I've been able to implement into my own training routine to be able to bench press 225 pounds for a lot of repetitions and at the same time break into some awesome pulling um, pulling exercises that are gonna help you build that V-taper physique. So I basically, I'm gonna share the exact same push-pull workout that the NFL players are doing at my training academy before the NFL Combine. All right guys, so the first part of the workout, we're gonna do some crazy variety on the bench press. Now, the number one thing that has really been able to progress my bench press from to the point where I could barely do 150 pounds to the point where I can do over 300 has been variety. Every single time I'm in the gym, I'm doing different variety with my bench press, and that starts with different weight and repetition schemes. So what I do is I'll do the same workout, uh, like the same rep range, maybe two, three workouts in a row, and then I'll completely change it up. Now, this is something that a lot of NFL players did at my school, where they would actually rep out uh, how many times they could do 225 pounds on the bench press, because that is the holy grail of the upper body strength, the NFL combine, what they test. So I actually tried this in this workout. I got 225, I think I'm gonna show you the clip right now. I think I got 15 times. I'm cutting right now, I'm on a major caloric deficit. So it's really my goal when I go back to lean bulking, probably in August or September, because I gotta stay shredded as fuck throughout the summer. I wanna get to 20 to 25 repetitions at 225. I'm right around, you know, I, I kind of vary between 195, 205. So I think that'd be really good if I can get to 20, 25 reps at about 200 pounds. That would be right there with a lot of NFL running backs and NFL safeties. So I started off the bench press workout 225 for 15 repetitions. That was pretty much until failure. Um, and then what I did after that is variety. I started going really heavy for rep ranges between four to six, but I was already really fatigued. So I think I went for uh, 285 for four or five repetitions after that. Then I went to 300 pounds, just put a bunch of overload on my fatigue chest. And then after that, I went back down to 275 for four total repetitions. So really change up your rep range, like burn out, do 15 reps of your 100% max, let's say 185 or 200, whatever your strength is, and then burn out, throw some heavy resistance on top of that, and then maybe go back to another heavy set. Like I went 225, 285, 300, 
275 and then I did another set that I'm not going to show you in this video of 225 again and since I was so fatigued I only did 12 repetitions of 225 on my four set so it is all about variety if you want to bench press 225 pounds for reps and you're not quite there yet you have got to change up your repetition range back when I was stuck at the same weight I would go in the gym I was going 185 I was going 225 I'd maybe do 245 for like one rep I was doing that same repetition range every single time and I was not getting anywhere so variety is the number one takeaway so the second part of the NFL combine workout and I would see the NFL guys especially the linebackers and safeties the tight ends the really big muscular NFL players the number one exercise that they were in love with was the weighted pull-up and I become obsessed with doing weighted pull-ups I'm doing a physique competition in about a month and a half and doing different grip formations with the weighted pull-ups is an awesome way to build that V taper physique so believe it or not I actually feel the most uh, amount of contraction right in my upper lats when my hands aren't super wide but just inside shoulder width apart so as you can see me i'm doing weighted pull-ups with that grip i highly recommend you guys buy some type of weight belt because as you start to get stronger it's really tough to just hold like a 45 pound weight between your feet so definitely pick up the weight belt go till failure and then in this specific uh, exercise i actually superset it with some rope crunches so you see me going right into some direct ab work and I'm also trying to contract the upper lats. So really good superset. Saw a lot of NFL uh, running backs and wide receivers do this at my school. So try it out. I know you heard the term chicks are like cars. Well, I treat bitches like drinks when I step in the club and bow the bar. So let me quench my thirst with you and a friend instead of the juice and gin. Why don't I pull a drink out and you hop in? Glass full of ass for a true motherfucker. With the turquoise coochie on, you remind me of a blue motherfucker. Your friend was sexy when I seen her in Prada, but I think Gina was hot because her skin tone was like a pina colada. I saw two Japanese chicks that got bodies, so I ordered them a Mai Tai and a hot sake. Then I got cocky. All right, now getting into more push work. Now, the incline bench press or any type of incline pressing movement is so crucial in fact it's gonna hit that upper chest also gonna hit those deltoids now I remember one day in the weight room I saw Benjamin Watson on the incline bench he put up 315 for like 10 reps and ever since then I really became obsessed with the incline bench now for actually building thickness in the upper chest I really like the ISO incline machine and when I say eccentric overload I mean going down nice and slow and controlled on the way down you see me repping that shit out going nice and slow and controlled and squeezing so I recommend if you're trying to build thickness in that upper chest going four to five reps really eccentric and controlled is a lot more powerful than rushing the repetitions and going 10 or 12 total all right next up getting back to some pulling now this is the ultimate V taper builder in fact if you see classic bodybuilders do this they're really stretching that's why I said uh, stretching in eccentric emphasis that means you're stretching and elongating your arms really feeling that contraction in your upper lats so t-bar row really gives you a chance to get that eccentric stretch motion and I would see NFL players do this all the time and as far as it being more explosive and strong this is an all-around amazing exercise so really focus on getting that stretch and you can kind of choose where you want to feel like if you pre fatigue your biceps it's a great way to build your arms or you can really get that stretch and feel it right in your upper lats which is what I'm trying to do so this has got to be in your routine if you want to build that V taper physique and I recommend going really heavy and hitting those eccentric reps. All right, guys, last but not least, I'm getting bitten up by mosquitoes all around here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, this isn't a traditional pulling exercise, but the fact that I had never done it before is the number one takeaway that I want you guys to understand and implement. So if you guys have this machine, definitely try it out. This was incredibly hard. You can't really tell like the resistance on what I'm doing, but it was really hard. So I went 60 seconds, just like pulling in unison. Now, in in any routine, in any muscle group, when you're trying to bring something up, like I was saying with bench pressing 225 pounds for reps, it's gotta be variety. So in your pulling workouts, don't get stuck doing the same things over and over and over again. In fact, I'm gonna upload another uh, like V taper pulling workout regimen. I'm just gonna show you guys like 10 different unique exercises and supersets and drop sets just so I can throw a ton of variety at you guys. But I just, uh, like every single time you do a pulling workout, try to do one new exercise one new rep range, one new advanced training technique that you've never done before and I guarantee you it's gonna speed up your results because I was doing this pull thing and I felt like a different type of soreness in my upper lats than I've ever felt before. Now if I had gone to the gym, even if I crushed a workout and it was the same type of workout that I've been doing for the last couple months, I really wouldn't have that amount of soreness and I wouldn't have that progression that I did from this workout. So like, it, like I was saying with the bench pressing 225 per, per reps and with the pulling and V taper exercises, 
gotta change up your regimen, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you check the description below. I got a special 10% discount on the new Alpha Lion supplements. I really want you guys to check it out. I've been working super hard on creating a badass supplement line, the best fucking supplements in the game. So you can check that out in the description below. I would also love for you to join the Superhuman U Facebook private group. We got a ton of motivated guys trying to get shredded and aesthetic, become superhuman in there. So you can join that free and you will find that link in the description below. So if this is your first time on the channel, I would love for you to subscribe. You can click the button right over here or here. I always forget where it is. And I'm also gonna link you to a related video if you found this workout routine really useful. So I will see you guys on the next video in a couple days.